Jeffree Star just dragged Kim Kardashian's new makeup palette. Yep, it's talk of the town right now. So Kim Kardashian recently just dropped a makeup palette. Now this is our second video of the day. So if you haven't seen the first one, grab a snack and come on back. So Jeffree Star went live on TikTok and someone asked him what he thought about Kim Kardashian's new $50 palette. Now this is interesting because Jeffree Star has a $52 palette that has way more shades and colors in that same range. So he's basically saying like you're gonna spend 50 on that when you can spend 52 and get way more colors with me that have really good quality as well. Now this is interesting because a lot of people have been receiving kind of some sad eyes, side eyeing when they review it. Michaela Nogura recently reviewed the Kim Kardashian new makeup palette. We'll get to that in just a second and what Jeffree Star had to say about the new colors that Kim released. My thing is when I saw the Kim Kardashian makeup palette, I had two issues with it. The first issue is that they're all mattes, which is a very easy formula to do. My second issue is it's launched under Skin by Kim, which is a skincare brand, but the makeup has no skincare loving ingredients in it. In Skin Kim Kardashian's new makeup line, there is no squalene, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, in any of that makeup, in the lippies, in the pencils, or in the eyeshadow. So I'm thinking like, why did Kim Kardashian even launch it under Skin by Kim? She could have just created a new brand. Kim Kardashian dropped this absolutely stunning, sexy makeup line. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm just kidding. Don't make me relive that. This is the new Skin by Kim drop. We have lipsticks, lip liners, and an eyeshadow palette. As someone who loved KKW Beauty, I was ecstatic when she announced this. However, when the actual product assortment got revealed, I got a little nervous because a lot of this looks really warm toned and I'm cool neutral. So hopefully I find something that works for me. Let's start with the eyeshadow palette. This is my like actual first impression of this. I have not actually seen this yet. Okay, I mean, it's it's exactly what it says, classic mattes. These are classic matte colors. Now listen, listen, I'll always tell you, okay? Li Kim Kardashian is literally my idol, okay? Uh, ask my parents. I grew up idolizing her. I love her. I still do. But I have to tell you, I think this palette looks cheap as fuck. I mean, the materials, it, it's ColourPop level, okay? The, the This should not be $50. 100% this should not be $50. And I understand that she's trying to, like keep the vibe of the Lux skin line, but like, if you're gonna do that, make the palette a little nicer. That's just my opinion. Aside from that, from what I've heard, the eyeshadow quality is exceptional. So let's do a look. I guess she didn't want to, because I guess she didn't want to call it Kim Kardashian makeup. I don't know, I have no idea. But she put it under Skin by Kim, it's there. It's available, I think tomorrow it goes on sale. Now Jeffree Star, I believe today, relaunched his nude palette uh, right before her, Shady the House. But Good morning everyone, happy orgy day. My 30 matte iconic neutral palette is back very soon. Today, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, that's 1 p.m. Eastern. That is literally, oh baby, that's literally in an hour and 15 minutes. Get ready, it will be on my website worldwide. At the end of the day, it's just business and love and war. But let me show you what Jeffree Star had to say. Anyways, here we go, roll it. Review the KKW new Kim Kardashian skin line. Yeah, we'll see about that. Do we really need to review 12 shades of the same lip liner? Do we really? Yeah, I don't know if I want to do it. We can. But I don't know if I want to do it. I saw the launch and I was like, why are y'all hyping up this horse shit? And her eyeshadow palette? Did y'all see this shit? Let's pull it up and judge it in person. Galaxies, Michelle with the ice skates. Oh my god, you guys, thank you so much. Completing another goal already. Let's go with the ice skates, y'all. Thank you guys so much. It does look like the Mario palette. Okay, hold on. Skin by Kim. The fact that Kim KW had to change her makeup brand because of contractual reasons, do y'all know that? She didn't want to, but she had to. The eyeshadow palette sold out. You're kidding, right? Who bought this? 
What do they make? Like 10 units? $50. $50 for this. What do y'all think? $50. With those small pans? Is she serious? Is she serious? This shit looks so cheap. There's no logos on it. It's literally a piece of cardboard with some little slivers put in there. And that's $50. Just for comparison, the blood sugar palette is $52. And then has, mine has 18 shades, hers has 12. Okay. 50. This looks like the makeup by Mario palette, but 10 times worse. $50 is such a ripoff, y'all. And it's sold out. Like, who really bought that? I gotta know. 12 warm and cool nude shades and a velvety matte finish. <sighs> well, I was gonna buy it and review it for y'all, but it's sold out. And then the lip liners. $22. That's, I mean, that's pretty normal for a more high-end lip liner. I mean, all these shades look alike, except like the three darker ones. Okay. $22 for that. Looks like Claire's. Wings with the gem gone! You guys, I was honestly gonna review it to really swatch them all, but it sold out, so. If it comes back and you guys still want me to review it, but Skin by Kim is just so corny. Oh, it says coming soon. Do they not even come out yet? Wait, you guys. It says coming soon. I don't think they ever launched. I thought they were sold out. Oh, they're not even launched yet, you guys? January 26th. They came out Friday. I'm over here thinking they sold out. I gotta go. I gotta go. I thought it was sold out. I was like, who's spending their hard-earned money on this cardboard? Like the palette looks like cardboard. $50. Think star. Thank you, baby. Oh y'all, she took me off the PR list when her brand got closed. So this is a whole new brand. Remember, KKW was her brand. And because of legal issues, it all went away. How about that? She's one of the wealthiest celebrities on the planet and even she couldn't win the lawsuit. And now she's affiliated with Balenciaga again. I'm like, actually, I don't even want to review this. Do I even want this bullshit on my platform? Kim K supports Balenciaga. And if you don't know their dark history, because we definitely can't talk about it on here. Mm-mm. Okay, well. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I'll be spending $50 of my hard-earned money on this cardboard. Okay. Well, I thought it was sold out and it hasn't even launched yet, so. Anywho. Yeah, we definitely not gonna waste our money on that. 2024 is the year where we all really need to be conscious of who we are spending our money on. And if it's, if it's someone that just, yeah. You know, like really think about all the brands that are out there. Do we really need to be giving her $50 for a palette that looks like her makeup artist, which he used to do probably all the, all the color designs for that. Now that Mario has his own brand, he's like, girl, please leave me alone. And I know that's his girl, trust me. I know that's his girl, that's his girlfriend, but still, you know. Mm-hmm. I know, where's the ethics? <laughs> they care about the profit, no thanks. Yeah, a high-end brand that I really respect is Patrick Ta. I love when makeup artists create their own line like Kevin Aquan did. That's what inspired me to create my own brand. 
as a working makeup artist since I was 12 years old, baby. That's what inspired me to make a brand. So I love Patrick Ta. I'm just looking at stuff in my drawer. I love his blushes. He is such a real one. The cream and powder duo is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I love Patrick Ta. Cassidy with the gem gun. Thank you so much, beautiful. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on. Thank you. Let's go. Okay, let me grab something y'all. Don't leave. I need to. I need All right, grab a snack and come on back. Ain't no scandal I can't handle. I feel like Jeffree Star, it was being shady when he said things like, oh, you just read, how many nudes do we need of that? It looks the same. Um, but it does look good. Yes, it's a lot of the same. I'm not gonna sit here and cap, it is. But the Kim Kardashian formula, it was really good. So is Jeffree Star's as well. I feel like if I was balling on a budget, if I wanna be budget friendly, I would go with the Jeffree Star one. It's a much bigger palette. You get way more colors for $2 extra. It just, it just makes more sense to go with the Jeffree one. But all that to say this, Kim Kardashian, at the time of making this video, has not responded at all to what Jeffree Star had to say. And neither has Michaela Nagura because she released, she got a lot of backlash for it. Now, um, I've been seeing, you know, a lot of other TikTokers review. Get ready with me using Kim Kardashian's brand new makeup by Skin. Do you guys remember when this was a skincare line? I think it still is. And now she's launching makeup so this is the palette right here it kind of looks like her skincare like the color and it's cardboard and it's um very very you know minimal and look at the colors is it giving mario palette let me grab it okay so this one's mario's and this is kim's the mario having this burgundy ish like warm shade and these two more like yellower shades make this palette unique this is great too. And I wanna say like neutral eyeshadow palettes to me is kind of like trying pad thai everywhere. I just wanna see what it's giving for that brand. Everywhere I go to a Thai restaurant, I just wanna see how their tad, the tad pie, their pad thai is. First Kardashian makeup, and they say that the formula is great and it's very buttery, and mel you know, <gasps> it melts like butter right into the skin. Um, I think that Kim is excited to come back with makeup. I think it's something that she really liked, especially because seeing her sister Kylie be successful at it and Kylie Jenner just launched the Kylie Jenner Power Plush Mascara. This just came out. It kind of looks like that Gucci foundation, but it's not as heavy as it is. And I have it on right now. If you like this shade, I'm in shade uh, 5W5. Yeah, so that's what it is. 5.5W, 5, 5 really. But anyways, I'm wearing it right now, and I put it down with some Milani lipsticks. It's Anastasia Beverly Hills setting powder. And so I'll try to put it down below in the TikTok show, YouTube shop, what I, what I have on my face. But anyways, uh, let me grab my little sippy cup. Mmm. Look, I went to this place called Bussies. Check it out. I love it. And I bought this little sippy cup at Bussies. It was the cutest thing ever. Bussies. Bussies, huh? I love it so much. Anyways. Anyways, girls, let me let you go. Get ready for tonight. I get the trade. Got trade coming over. Okay. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.